Hello, welcome to Spirituality Simplified. I am, of course, excited. I'm excited about every episode, um, but this one, I just felt really called to do. And actually, I've been kind of feeling it for the past couple of days uh, with this recent total solar eclipse that we had with our new moon. Uh, but we also have a summer solstice coming up, and I've just been feeling this need to check in with the cosmos, check in with my galactic guides and see what we all need to know. Um, you know, I've been going through some stuff in my life. You know, you may be going through some things in your life. So hopefully these messages can help you connect the dots and kind of make sense of what's going on because these are the energies that are going on in the universe right now. And that affects every single one of us. So I'm going to share some channeled messages from my guides today um, to help us work with these energies as we enter into the longest day of the year, the summer solstice, which is this Sunday, June 20th, 2021. And then I'll share some thoughts of my own at the end. So enjoy. Things are still shifting like the tectonic plates in the earth shifting. A lot has already shifted and caused major disruption, but the plates are still moving. They haven't stopped shaking. This is the uneasiness that you and many others have been feeling. Even with, the, with everything lifting and seemingly kind of going back to normal, there still needs to be work done. So the plates are still moving and shaking. But this is a good thing because the earth and the people on it still need to be woken up. There are still things lingering around in the cosmos that need to either be cleaned up, tied down, or integrated in. With this solar eclipse and summer solstice, the sun is in the spotlight right now, and she is spotlighting the areas still needing improvement. There's still so much injustice, manipulation, and control going on in the world. In fact, it seems like it may be getting worse because the people running these programs are feeling this loss of control. So they're tightening the rope even more. But eventually the rope can't stand the tension and pressure and will eventually break. Pressure is the theme right now. You may have been feeling this heavy pressure. You may be putting extra pressure on yourself or feeling it from family or friends or loved ones, coworkers, managers. The tectonic plates in the earth feel the pressure and move in response to release that pressure. Eventually something has to give. Something has to move or change to release this pressure. This is when we see things like earthquakes happen. The sun is illuminating those areas in your life right now where the release valve needs to be turned on. Ask yourself, which areas am I putting pressure on that I don't need to? If you examine which areas of your life have a lot of pressure right now, ask why. You may find yourself wondering why you're putting so much pressure because there truly doesn't need to be that much pressure there. There's lots of pressures going on right now. The pressure to be perfect, perform perfectly, to be the perfect parent, be the perfect child, be the perfect worker, the perfect partner. This may even lead into trying to feel the perfect feelings. Let the sun burn those pressures away the summer solstice. Let it burn off the confusion to illuminate the truth and lift that burden for you. The sun is saying you don't need to put so much pressure on yourself. The sun is illuminating where you need to let go a bit, where you need to back off. Give yourself a break. Once you release that pressure, Watch the sunlight flow in and fill you with so much joy and happiness and peace. Let the sun's warmth fill you and comfort you and light up all the ways that you are perfect. 
You're already feeling the pressure building up externally. There's no need to add to that pressure internally as well. Ask the sun to show you where you need to let go and allow your light to shine more brightly. And ask the, the sun to show you how you are already perfect just the way you are and that you are exactly where you need to be, to be in this moment and enjoy where you are even if it's a time of struggle. There's still light and joy to be found in the journey of self-discovery. Instead of looking at your struggles as the dark night of the soul, look at it as the bright light of the soul, the great illumination, the great unmasking. The summer solstice is the longest day of the year with the most sunlight. Use this day to revel in all of the amazing things in your life. Take some time to appreciate how far you've come. Connect with the sun and let her show the way for you. Ask her to burn away your fears, worries, false beliefs, and show you the truth, your truth. Start your day on the solstice by watching the sunrise. Watch her slowly reveal herself and show herself in her full radiant glory. As you watch her rise, feel your own self rising. Feel your soul connecting with source. Feel your true self shining brighter and brighter with each passing minute. Step outside around noon when the sun is shining her brightest, sending out her rays the strongest. Close your eyes, feel the warmth on your face. Let her fill you with strength and joy and hope for what's to come. Ask her to light your path, showing you the next step for you to take. And when the sun sets, notice how she changes colors into hues of the deepest oranges, reds, pinks, and purples. Ask her to help you shine your true colors too. And when she goes to sleep, rest in the comfort that she too will rise again in the morning, shining her light, giving us the ability to see what's been right in front of us all along, letting us notice what we didn't notice before, letting us see our own lives in a new light giving us the clarity we need to make whatever changes, shifts, or moves we need to release the pressure, allowing us to flow with the shifts of the earth, allowing us to move with instead of fight against these new arising truths. So I will say, you know, I've personally been experiencing some major ahas and revelations in my own life lately, and some false beliefs have come to light that no longer ring true for me. And, you know, many of these truths have, that have been surfacing have been unsettling. I mean, I'll be honest, it's, you know, some are really great things, but there's been some really unsettling truths that have surfaced as well. And, you know, I've been kind of going through this grieving process as I've processed these new truths that have surfaced and, you know, things or people, situations, experiences that I once held really high in a certain light, I'm actually starting to see in a different light now. And again, it's not all good, unfortunately. And I'll be honest, it's, it's made me kind of sad. I've, you know, kind of retreated in lately and, um, you know, really try to process my feelings around these realizations. And it's, it's truthfully, it's been heart disheartening. It's been shocking. It's been hurtful to see the ugly truth. Um, I feel like as I've experienced an earthquake in my own soul's core, you know, I've literally been shaken to the core, but sometimes that's what it takes to get you to wake up and see the truth, you know, to finally see Okay, this it's right in front of you. Sometimes you need that core shaking experience to get you to see that. And, you know, we can be blind to things when we hold something in such high regard 
for so long. But these eclipses and, you know, the sun and the solstice, I mean, that's all trying to show us the truths that we need to see in our own lives right now. It's showing us what we need to let go of to release the pressure. That's all part of the grieving process. The act of letting something, someone, a memory, whatever it is, just letting it go. It's the realization that you may have to let go of something or someone you love which is incredibly hard. That's really difficult. I mean, if you've ever been through a breakup, you know what that's like, and it could be anything. It's not, maybe it's not a person, you know, maybe it's something, a situation, or maybe it's something that you've been holding on to, a thought, um, a belief again, um, you know, something that's really, um, it's coming to light in a different way for you now. And that can be shocking. That can be confusing, right? Um, and initially like the stages of grief, right? You may want to deny it or ignore it. Um, but with the energies of the universe right now, you're being forced to face it and deal with it. I mean, you can't really hide in the shadows anymore. I mean, the sun is out. She is saying, look, at it. it's right here. It's time to face it. It's time to deal with it. Time to let it go. And, you know, it may seem hard to let it go, but once you do, you know, you release that pressure and you'll feel like a huge weight's been lifted off of your shoulders. You'll probably sigh this huge sigh of relief. And that's how you're going to know that it was time to let that go. And that it was the right thing to do. You know, it's interesting. So the solstice is on June 20th, 2021. And in numerology that comes out to a number four which represents foundation, stability. And it reminds me of the foundation of a home. You know, when the earth shifts, it can cause a crack in the foundation, which throws off your whole home, right? You start seeing cracks in your ceilings and your walls. And if you don't address the cracks in the foundation, then your whole house is going to fall apart. And so it may just need, you know, a quick repair. It may need, you know, you may need to have a whole new foundation replaced, or you may need to demolish the whole house completely and completely start anew. That's, of course, an extreme (laughs) example, but, you know, I mean, the foundation issues are real, right? Like, that's the foundation. It's the base. That's what your home is built upon. And, you know, that's kind of what the summer solstice is all about, It's, you know, the sun is showing us where there's cracks in our foundation so that we can address them and make the necessary repairs. She's showing us where we're putting that extra pressure on our beings, our whole beings, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, every aspect. Which area are you putting extra pressure on yourself? And, but the sun is giving us that extra boost of strength to let it go and let go of what's no longer serving us and make those changes that we need to make. When we release the pressure and make those repairs, our foundation is stronger than it was before. And we can feel assured and confident in taking that next step because we know that our foundation and core is solid. It's good. And, you know, it's interesting too, I've been noticing these synchronicities of pressure, this pressure theme in my own life lately. And now it all makes sense. These messages from the sun and the universe and the galactic guides and cosmos. I mean, this was so healing. It's so healing to know, okay, this is what I'm feeling this. This is what I'm getting. And this is how I can apply what I'm feeling from the whole universe to my own life so that I can flow with the energies and not fight them, which is what we really want to do, right? <laughs> it's not easy, right? It's, it's, it's not, but this is what's really cool is, is just kind of bringing this into your awareness. The sun is letting you know, hey, this is what's going on. This is how you can work with the energies. And this is how you can see what's going on in your own life to make the necessary improvements that you need to make so that you can live your true, authentic, beautiful life that you're meant to live, right? Um, So it's funny with these synchronicities, right? There's been a few that have happened. And then today, um, 
I was, I, I, I was just got out of the shower and I heard the water running and I thought my husband was watering the plants or something. So I kind of looked out the window and I see this water just gushing out. I was like, oh gosh. So I go to check and we, we bought this big hose to connect to the sprinkler in our front yard. And I look and there's this huge crack in this hose. And that's where this water was just spewing out of. Right. Um, so it was interesting because I mean, there was literally too much pressure that was put, you know, on this hose and it literally cracked. And, you know, I'll say like this hose, this was the thickest, most heavy duty hose that they sell at Home Depot. So, you know, my husband and I were like scratching our heads trying to figure out how this happened. But I'll say, you know, I was thinking about it. You know, the sun has been especially hot and strong lately here in Colorado. And I think it's kind of been like that across the whole country too. But um, this has been an unusually hot June with, you know, ozone alerts and, and all of that. I mean, it's been kind of hazy. It's been kind of weird, I will say. Um, and this hose has been sitting outside just baking in the sun for weeks now. So, you know, maybe the heat from the sun showed where, where in the hose, um, that it was receiving too much pressure. Right. Um, and, and again, just kind of bringing that back to the, you know, that's what the summer solstice and the solar eclipse is all about. You know, the sun is super hot and strong right now. She's working really hard to show us what we need to see right now to illuminate the truths that we need to see. So let her show you where in your life you need to release some of that pressure. Let her show you, you know, what you need to let go of to experience that freedom and open up to some new energy flow. The energies are intense right now, but allow yourself to flow with those energies and use them to make a positive impact in your life. And if you do find yourself seeing things in a different light, you know, allow yourself to the time and the space to process those feelings. Um, you know, it, allow yourself the opportunity to just go inward and see what the shift or change or move that you need to make as a result of what you're, of this truth that you're seeing and allow yourself the time to grieve any loss that you may be experiencing from these realizations you know, if you do have to let go of something that is a loss, allow yourself to grieve that and then allow yourself to let it go. Um, you know, I've been so trying to see these changes and this time in my life, not as scary or sad, but more enlightening and uplifting. And, you know, because I know in the long run, I'm going to be better off. So even though it's, it's difficult, it's really difficult to let things go. It's difficult to see things not the way you thought them to have these really, there, there's lots going on. Like it can be really difficult. Um, but, and it may be hard to let that go, but once you do, you know, you're probably going to feel better afterwards and it's better off for you in the long run, right? You don't want something that's dragging you down or holding you back. And that's kind of where we are in this world right now. You know, we, have been changing. The world's changing. You're probably changing. And it's, it's sometimes change can be hard, um, but it's all for the better, right? So just know, um, you know, if, if you're experiencing something similar, just know you're not alone and that it's okay to feel whatever feelings are coming to the surface. So, um, you know, try not to put pressure on yourself for feeling a certain way. I know I was kind of doing that for me. I was like putting pressure on myself to, you know, I guess I was confused and I'm like, what, you know, trying to process this and not knowing how to feel, just let yourself feel it. Just let it, just let the feelings flow. Um, and again, it may seem confusing or shocking at first, but just let the feelings flow. Feelings are information. They tell you what you need to know. So pay attention to it and allow yourself to feel them. Um, so that's, that's all we have for today. I really hope that some of this resonates with you. 
um, you know, again, if you're experiencing something similar, you want to share, want to talk about it, please do. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see what you've come up with, what's been going on with you. You can do that in our LinkedIn group, which is called Your Soul at Work. So feel free to join and join in on the conversation, share your thoughts. And, you know, I, I'm really thankful. I'm so thankful for you right now. I'm thankful for you for tuning in today. Um, you know, I hope that you have a beautiful and blessed summer solstice this Sunday. And remember, of course, to keep it spiritual, but keep it simple. Thanks. See you next time.